Well, the halls are alive with the sounds of music at St. Cecilia Music Center. Executive Director Kathy Holbrook is with us today to talk about the great concert lineup this winter. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. It's not too you. late for that, right? We, no. we haven't seen each other since then. That's right. I mean, I think all through January is still kind of Happy New Year. Well, last year we were talking about this great lineup, mm -hmm. and here we are in the new we're year. In it. <laughs> and now we're in it. <laughs> so we'll mention the different concerts that you're offering here this winter. Yes. So St. Cecilia offers three different series. Se Okay. We have a chamber music series that is in partnership with the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center okay. in New York. We have a great jazz series where we bring Grammy Award winning, highly in demand jazz artists and their groups. And then we have a really fun folk series which kind of spans a lot of different genres. We have country, we have bluegrass, we have singer songwriters. So that, you know, has a lot of different um, offerings in that particular series. And no matter the genre, the venue is one that people just should absolutely experience for themselves. Yes, right. it's true. It's such a beautiful place and it's a, a 600 seat hall mm -hmm. so there's not a bad seat in the house. I mean it really feels like these performers are playing right just for you. Yeah, a lot and of people there intimate but still grand yes, if you would. Yes, it's yeah. very beautiful. We like, renovated the building about four years ago so it looks really spiffy and <laughs> um, and then you know we have pre-concert receptions for a lot of our shows mm -hmm. upstairs in the ballroom and we always have a post-concert party That's so neat. people can come up and have a glass of wine, some cheese and crackers. Most of the time, meet the artist. Yeah, that's the cool part. You actually yeah. get to speak, maybe take a picture with the that's artist right. that's there. And you got have a couple of concerts coming up, what, this week? Yes, tomorrow. So, yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're on. So tomorrow, we have our another jazz concert. Okay. Um, we started in the fall. So we have another jazz concert coming up with Emmett Cohen and his trio. He's a young, very exciting pianist. And he's working with these legendary artists, he's calling it the Master Legacy Series. And that is um, where he's talking to, performing with, and recording with kind of the elder statesman of jazz. He's a young 30-something year old okay. pianist, uh -huh. but he wants to learn and he wants to um, document some of these um, legends. So his guest will be Benny Golson, and that is a legendary sure. saxophone player. Yeah. So not only do you get the trio, but you get uh, Benny Golson as well. It's like a bonus, it right? It is, yeah. <laughs> it's a really cool project that he's doing because it's just nice that he's recognizing, yeah. you know, the elder states. Documenting the all yeah. the, where it came from, mm -hmm. kind of passing the torch. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, in February. Well, next oh, week. We almost forgot about the next other week, one this month. Yep. There's so many. I know. So <laughs> next week we have the Chamber Music Society. That's right. They come back with fabulous program of called French Enchantment, which is all French music, obviously. And uh, those are always amazing concerts. Smaller ensembles than a big symphony, and just again, the hall was is, made was made for that made music. for that music. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. It, it will be beautiful. Okay. And then next month, yes, we have four concerts next month. Um, I'm happy to I'm happy for us, but sad for some people that two of them are already sold out. Oh wow! So Roseanne Cash and Chris Thiele are sold out. Okay. Uh, but the infamous String Dusters will be here on February 6th, and they are a bluegrass band, and that, this is going to be something what for, a great name. for the for the books at Saint Cecilia, I think, because yeah. they have a light show, and they're having a, a light fog show machine. at Saint Cecilia. And yeah, we're a little nervous, but I think it'll be really, really cool. And uh, they're a Grammy Award-winning young uh, bluegrass band that's just going to kind of rock the house. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. And then, like I said, we have then we do have Roseanne Cash, which I am unbelievably excited and thrilled mm -hmm. about, but that is a full house. And then after that, Chris Thiele, uh, who's a mandolin player, is coming on February 25, and that's a full house. What about Raul? But Raul Madan, mm -hmm. there's plenty of tickets left for Raul Madan, and I have to say, that's going to be one of the best shows anyone sees this year. He is this remarkable musician. It's just him on stage, but his guitar playing, his singing, he does what he calls a, a mouth horn. Okay. So he like sounds like he's playing the trumpet, but it's just his, his mouth. mouth. Wow. And it's he's really unbelievable. I mean, every time I played a clip for anybody, they they just can't believe it. He was born blind, and he just has become this amazing musician. Um, I really encourage people yeah, to come out for this show. It's going like to be great. Show. Yeah. And let's not forget March really quick. We have two more there. Yes. <laughs> well, March we have uh, Luciana Sosa mm -hmm. is our jazz artist on March 5th. Okay. She's going to come with this really beautiful Brazilian program with her trio. Um, she's got a very sultry, beautiful voice. 
Uh, we also have we also have our big gala in in March on March seven. Mm -hmm. Last year we started the Helen DeVos Legacy Award Gala, and we honored Mrs. DeVos at that event. And this year we are honoring Stella Royce, who recently passed away. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of bittersweet that we will be honoring her after she's gone. But we are so happy to be paying tribute to Stella, the Royce family in general has had so much to do with St. Cecilia. Royce Auditorium is named for, for, for yeah. them. So uh, that's a lovely event where we will have a cocktail hour, a performance by one of our youth groups, and a sit-down dinner, and, and pay tribute to Stella and all that she's done for the arts in Grand Rapids. Unless we forget a name that most people know, Mark Cohn. Mark Cohn's coming back. Yeah, March 19. I'm very excited about that, too. Yeah. He gave us a really, really beautiful show. and. Um, a couple of years ago, he was here. Mm -hmm. So, no, walking in Memphis. Walking in Memphis is, the, <laughs> of course, the song that everyone knows. I'm sure he's tired of playing it, yeah. but you know, it's what got his name out there. That's right. And he has so much other great music too. He does. So if it's everything from, as you mentioned, this folk pop acoustic to your jazz to your chamber.